This is the Blur career. You've got nine rivals to prove yourself against. As you compete in their events, you'll start earning lights and fans. Earn lights by placing an event. Earn fans by pleasing the crowd. Lights unlock more events. Fans unlock cars. Each rival will also have a set of demands. You want to complete them all for a chance to take them on. Beat them in a one-on-one -on -one and add their car to your showroom. So you want to earn lights, gain fans, and take on rivals all the way to the top. This is it. Time to step up and enter the world of Powered Up Racing. This is Powered Up Racing, the core of the whole sport. The premise is simple. First to the finish line wins. Call on all your driving and power-up skills to battle your way to the front of the pack. Use power-ups tactically to gain an advantage. Even when you're out in front, the battle isn't over. You're gonna have to fight to stay there. Race in the top three to earn lights. The better your finish position, the more lights you'll earn.
Time to learn about power-ups. Drive through power-ups to pick them up. Trigger them with the fire button. Let's see what each power-up does. This is a shunt. Shunt targets the next car in the pack, even if it's out of sight. Here's a nitro. Nitro gives you a huge burst of speed. Use it to move up the pack. This is a mine. Drop mines to attack cars behind you. This is very useful when you're out in front. Let's take a look at Barge. Barge is a close-range attack that will shove cars out of your way. This is a Bolt. Bolt has three high-velocity rounds that fire straight ahead. You want to land all three shots for maximum impact. This is a Shield. Use Shield to protect yourself from power-up impacts and collisions. This is a Repair. Use Repair when your health is low and save yourself from wrecking. Here is a Shock. Shock launches lightning domes to the front of the pack. This is great when you want to level the playing field. So those are the basics. Should keep you going for a while.